welcome to this um, the minute of life i mean the minute of taxes video number 25 so today i'm not talking about yeah i'm talking about taxes but not tax strategy but at least another way to get more refund right that's why you guys like on the taxes right so basically uh what i want to share with you is uh, <clears throat> one of the reasons why you are better off amending your own taxes rather than waiting for the IRS to actually calculate and give you the refund for um, for the credit that you are supposed to receive on that free uh, portion of the unemployment. I'm talking to the people who receive unemployment. If you didn't receive unemployment, then this video doesn't apply to you basically. But if you receive unemployment or your wife or someone you know receive unemployment, and you already file your taxes then this video is for you now you have to know why you don't want the IRS to send you the refund by themselves right you don't want them to automatically calculate the difference and send it to you the reason being is that the IRS doesn't work for you the IRS actually they are they have less staff than the capacity of the job they have to do that means if they have to do calculate how much you should receive because you pay taxes on 10,020, which was actually a tax free portion of the unemployment. And on in many previous video, I was telling you guys to wait because I knew that um, it was arriving. I told a lot of people here not to file the taxes and wait because if you file taxes, you will need to actually amend it to actually take the credit of the taxes that you pay on that 10,020. $10,200. So basically, maybe some people don't even get what I'm saying. The issue is that on the unemployment that you guys were paying taxes on, the government decided that 10%, I mean, 10200 10, will not be considered taxable income. So if you have paid income on maybe, let's say, 20000 of unemployment, then you should have been paying taxes only on 10,000 or by the way 9,800 that means you are paying taxes you are paying taxes on 10,200 which was not supposed to be a taxable income so now you have to amend your taxes and the government the IRS actually is coming there and say okay we are automatically going to calculate the difference and send it to you so if they are calculating the difference of the taxes on the 10,000 then it's not uh it's not quite accurate for you because they are not reconsidering they are not redoing your own taxes for you they are actually not redoing your amendment for you they will be most likely finding what could be the tax that somebody on your level of income pay on two thousand on the ten thousand dollars but the truth is that uh, ten thousand could actually change you from one tax bracket to another one right 10,000 can actually bring you down on the tax bracket and the difference will be different than if you just consider the tax bracket where you are and calculate the tax that you that you have been paid on it that's the reason why it's better for you to just consult the person who file your taxes and ask him to actually file an amendment return for you to remove or, or or better yet to claim that credit that you're entitled to because the difference will be not only oh by the way maybe that income actually put you out of being able to claim some credit you know some credit are income based that means maybe the ten thousand were taking you out of being able to claim your child tax credit or any income tax credit now with that with, with that credit that income that you are that you cut off your earning income tax credit should actually increase basically maybe your child tax credit should also increase so there are so many things to come into place and I, i'm not quite sure i'm not inside the IRS, but i'm not quite sure they are going to make sure to give you any single income that you were losing by getting that actual additional income on your taxes that's the reason why i'm saying you better off that's the reason why I'm thinking that you better consult with the CPA, basically. Even though your tax professional is busy, consult a different CPA because I don't know your tax situation, but you might be eligible for more than what the IRS will actually give you. And that is what I want you guys to know. 
okay because an increase an, an increase or a decrease of your income can have a, an impact as many levels okay that's why i want you to know it can have an increase on many levels of your income you may be able to claim some or some credit that you could have been otherwise not to be eligible for so that's the reason why i want you to actually consult your tax professional that's not even all i didn't hear that your state will also do the same thing i mean maybe the same but i have it i'm, I'm not aware of yet that the state will also amend your return to actually, you know, pay you more income of it. But if you are taxable income, most of the time the state will take your income from the federal. If your federal is different now, it means your taxable income at the state should also be different. But is the state also amending your return and sending you difference automatically? I didn't hear that. Up, I mean, maybe maybe they're going to be on the news, but up to now, I'm not aware of. Okay, so that's the reason why you should contact with your CPA, your tax professional, or anyone. That's the reason why you should contact your CPA or any CPA that you think can help you on that matter. Because on it, it was today that I was actually, and uh, this came to me to do this video because I, I I was on video yesterday. I didn't plan to do this, but I mean. Three people were reminding me about the tax, the, I mean, the amendment that I was doing for them. So they asked, they sent me the email, oh, please, can you send me the copy? Because as you may know, the amendment return can actually be done electronically now, especially at the federal level. But at the state level, it still have to be, you know, paper filing. I mean, you have to mail it, send it to the post office. It takes time that, uh, I mean, eventually you get the refund. So the, those people were actually reminding me to send them the copy of the state amendment that I have done for them. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I think I may, I mean, it's, uh, I'll, I will lose nothing by actually uh, letting my people know that, oh, this is actually what you guys have to know. So basically, in summary, your tax refund, your, your refund that you're supposed to receive will be less. It's more likely that it will be less if you're waiting for the IRS to calculate the difference and give it to you because any increase or decrease of your income has an impact at so many levels. Your your tax bracket could decrease. You could be now eligible to more uh, credit that you show that you were eligible before. And at the state level, of course, your in, your income, your taxes on the state level actually decrease as well. And you pay taxes on the state level already. That means you overpay taxes on the state level. That means you should also be receiving something on the state level. So uh, my name is Russell Follas. If you're new here. Uh, I started this uh, minute of taxes to educate my people every day on the, the trick and the tip on how to pay less taxes legally. And you know, I'm a tax and accounting specialist. If you're new to the channel, just connect, uh, click on the description of the video uh, to subscribe and you know, share if you think that this information can help you or somebody you know. Until then, see you tomorrow for the next numero of the minute of taxes. Ciao.